In this next topic, so you might be researching how to buy a Tesla, but you might be asking, how can you get approved for Tesla financing? What are some of the tips and tricks to actually getting an approval rate? This might be your first time buying, so let's talk about it. But if you're just joining in, my name is Dennis. I love talking about Tesla deal hacking, so definitely hit that subscribe if you're interested. So when you purchase a vehicle, the first, first, first rule of thumb is whatever the vehicle price is, whatever the MSRP price is with tax and fees and everything like that, you will at least at a minimal want to make one to one to that vehicle. If you make any less, it's going to be a little bit antsy, but you got to make one to one. So what that means is if you're going to be buying a $50,000 model three performance with taxes and fees and everything like that, factor 10%, it's going to be about 55 to $56,000 out the door. So at a minimum, you should make at least, if not more, $56,000 in double you to income every single year. If you're if you're your own business, then that could be a little bit tricky as well. You want to make sure you have enough profit and income to be able to qualify for that. And the second thing here is this. So leasing is always going to be a little bit slightly easier to get an approval. But loans is going to be harder because you're actually putting the full amount onto the vehicle. If you're a first time buyer, then you're definitely going to be forced to use Tesla financing. And you're also going to be forced to either put at least 10 to 20 to 30 percent down. Tesla just recently added a new tool on the website where you can actually pre-qualify for financing to see if you'll actually get approval or not. So you can enter in your information, put in your income, and it will do a soft inquiry on your credit to see if you'll actually get a pre-approval for Tesla financing. Leasing is a little bit different. You actually cannot put more than whatever it says. So $4,500 down is $4,500 down on a lease. But of course, if you're a seasoned buyer, if you've bought vehicles in the past, then that's where you have the opportunity to explore other credit unions out there to get a better interest rate for financing your Tesla. And where you can get a full list of all the best credit unions for financing your Tesla is at the Patreon link down below in the description. Now, after you join, you get a link to my buying guide, which is the ultimate Tesla buying guide out there with all the best interest rates for financing your Tesla. So definitely check it out. Patreon link down below in the description. And we just found a credit union on this list as interest rates as low as 4.74% that anybody can qualify and join the credit union. So definitely check it out. Patreon link down below in the description. But certainly that's a quick TLDR on Tesla financing explain and really how to get approved for financing your Tesla vehicle. And if you get a disapproval, then you really got to work on your credit. Try again, maybe six months, clean it up, pay up all the bills, let the credit reflect it. And then also more cash or more down payment is certainly going to help in the long run with getting an approval. Because if you think at it from a bank's point of view, they're giving you a vehicle, they're risking a loan on it. And so the less they have out on the loan, the less they owe, if they have to recall that vehicle quickly and repo it or sell it or things like that, then they're going to feel more comfortable for an approval for your vehicle. But definitely some pretty interesting stuff. Let me know what your thoughts on it. If you've got any questions, post it in the comments in the chat. We're going to jump into the live stream comments after this water break. All right. Should I buy or lease a Tesla? It depends, Tesla 54. If you just want to, if you're waiting for like Highland and things like that, then you could lease. I mean, leasing is always going to be a lower monthly payment than purchasing. So really like take a look at your budget and see. Uh, the cool thing is you can decide that after the fact. First, I would say find a vehicle that is interesting to you, that you've got a good inventory discount on it. And then after you place the deposit, that gives you access to the Tesla portal. And you can do applications for both, a lease and then a finance and see which one makes the most sense for you uh, at the end of the day. Wolf, thanks for coming in. Why is there different prices between Tesla Model 3 real-world drive? When I look at details, they look exactly the same. I check mileage. Wolf says new vehicles with no mileage. Yeah, we're seeing a lot of that in terms of inventory discount. Could be age of the inventory. Could be... Really, that's it. Age of inventory. I guess Tesla's tinkering with it and testing certain discounts to try and clear vehicles before they sit too long, maybe. Maybe that's would be my best guess for that. But thanks for jumping in, everybody. Thanks for supporting. Thanks for hitting the like button in the comments. Definitely hit check out the giveaways on the channel if you're interested in winning where we're paying your Tesla payment or a set of all-weather floor mats for your Tesla vehicle. But last question. When you place an order for a Model Y Long Range, will the discounts go lower? 45.5 when you... 
when would you place an order oh, for mono wide long range? I would say depending on where you're in, what market you're in, if you're near factories and there's plenty of Teslas near you, uh, if you, you got good credit finance and everything, then you honestly could wait all the way to the end of the wire. But if inventory is sparse or sparse around you and there's not a lot of them around you, then I would, wouldn't wait too much longer and lock down a vehicle by the, before the end of the month. But Thanks for jumping in, everybody. Thanks for supporting. Thanks for hitting the like button, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.